Hello and welcome to this map tour of Goldcrest Valley for FS22. On the site where I found this map, Goldcrest Valley FS22 is credited to Dreamsy and it says a slightly more modernised version of Goldcrest Valley for FS22. Before we go around and have a little look at this slightly more modernised version of Goldcrest Valley, let's have a little look at its map. So those of you familiar with uh, Farm and Simulator 17, this will be a very familiar map, no doubt, and even for some of those that gave it a crack in FS19. I spent a lot of time on this map in uh, FS17. I didn't touch it at all in 19 when it turned up, so that's why I thought I'd give it a look for 22 and see what has come along since 17. Now, we start with our main farm here, got your farmhouse, but you've got a lot of built-in areas and it's got a lot of the production um, spots built in. They're all in the map now. So there's got a lot of functionality here to work within the new game. We've even got some uh, built-in fill triggers, herbicide, fertilizer. These are custom built put in, um, whether they are mods that are out there freely available and then have been customised to add, because I've not seen these in this form. Which is nice though, makes it its own. And we've got everything on here, from dairy, we've got a diesel place here, we've got some missing scripts, but this there, fast food restaurant, the supermarket, and then down here we've got spinnery, bakery, which I think were always there anyway. They were sell points that we always had. We've got a debris crusher, animal dealer, and uh, we're gonna get around the map. We're gonna try and take in as much of it as I can remember. And um, we'll probably start in the middle, head out, come down through the town of Goldcrest Valley itself. Um, we might skip the gold cr the um, debris crusher. We know what debris crusher looks like. Uh, coming around here, up to the top of the map, take in this section. And these points then have a look at the animal dealer at the end in a clockwise motion before we do that let's take a look at the land we start with and the price of the land should we want to purchase any now when you start you only have the small plot of land you don't actually own any fields uh, the plot of lands worth 78 grand but the fields are 38,000, uh, 63,000, and 85,000 thereabouts. Now, in previous versions of the game, or the map, sorry, you started with these three. Now, if you wanted to buy all these three, I think that works out to about, what's that, 230 grand? Something like that, 210 grand? So, you don't have enough money to start at the start of the game with your 100,000 to uh, to even own the, the, the considered main fields. So uh, how you approach that is entirely up to you. I probably would cheat a bit of money in and get myself some fields. And looking at how the map is laid out, you've got fields and then you've got open land. There's not many fields that come included within open land by the looks of it. I think the only one that I can see is field nine. I guess it would be too hard to strip that out. So how how that would work with landscaping and stuff, I think that would be difficult. It's certainly going to be hard to adjust the shape and the size of your fields. So you're going to have to buy a big plot of land around it just to grab an extra few feet on the end of a, an end of a field. But price wise, Field five was always the biggest, and that is uh, nearly 600,000 for that field. Another biggie being 20 at 435,000. I would say the smaller ones, 15, 38,000, we got 29,000 here, and then we got 34, 31. So, uh, yeah, you've got some cheap fields, but you haven't got nothing to start with. That's sort of the issue. And then when you look at the price of the land in between, 
it's a, a big plot up here. 358,000. And say, say um, I'm trying to think, if you were to buy land down here, I know I've brought these before and sort of ploughed these all into one. So you'd be looking at 326,000, 257,000, uh, 251,000. But then to do anything with it, the extra bit of land around it, 250,000. The town itself is half a million. You got 253,000. So it's, this would be a map, I think, where you would have to do a bit of cheating just to get the land to do something with it, unfortunately. Now, I'm assuming that might be the BGA. That's a single plot on its own, and that's uh, 85,000 there. That's the only thing that looked like it would be laid out to be the BGA. Next up, let's take a look at the equipment that you would start with coming into the game on New Farmer. Under small tractors, you have the John Deere 6, uh, 6120M and the uh, Fent Favre 515C. Very nice tractors. Under mediums, the John Deere 6250R. Harvester, you're starting with the Deutsche Vare Top Liner. 4090H. Trailers, you've got the Karat 140TD. Headers, we have the Deutsche Vare header. You start with the Degelman Rock King 6900, which is quite generous to give you a uh, you know stone picker to, to start the game off with. Not that I like stone picking. Plow wise, you've got the Pottinger Servo 25, just a little one. They do have the Power, Power Arrow Amazon KG 3001 Super. Alongside its Cedar, the Katia 3000 Super. Sprayer wise, we've got the Hardy Mega 12000L. Spreaders, we have the Brendel K105, a Pottinger Impress 125F Pro Baler, the Hauer XB150 front loader forks, under telehandler to under front loader tools, sorry, we have the Albert Pallet Fork, the Albert Universal Bucket, and the Albert Bale Spike. So you you're tooled up nicely. It's just a shame we've not got no land to work. We have the Bremer Transport Wagon TP500S. The Deutsche Vale Top Liner 490 header trailer. Under weights, we've got the Tem Winkle Pack 1500, the John Deere Pickup 1150, and the Tem Winkle FGB 600. And under miscellaneous, we do have a Crone Profile Liner, but we don't have a truck to pull it with, and we don't have a dolly to pull it with with a tractor. But you do start with a trailer, which is slightly unusual. And you also start with the modern Lizard Pickup 2017, here in red. These, oh, got stuck on my roof. These are just models, but these are the ones we can't drive. So let's have a quick look around the forecourt and uh, see what we have on the farm. I will, as I like to do with these tours, open up my map. It just makes it easier for me to see where we're going and what we're looking at. So we have... We'll skip past them for a second. Plenty of shed space that is full. Now, very modern, very updated from, like I say, the... Uh, uh, Farm Simulator 17. There we just had the uh, the old sort of dump silo type shelters. Now up the middle, we have seed refill point, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, and herbicide. 
I think these are just uh, reskins of the placeable fill points that we've had for many iterations of the game. Uh, if I remember rightly, last time around they were really expensive. I've not tried them in 22. Uh, we do have a workshop trigger point here. And here we have uh, another shelter. Round the back we have got... Is this some sort of hay barn? Or is this our silo? I think that's maybe our drier silo type business. Yep. That's quite... That's quite cool. I like that. That's that's a nice custom build, that. It's different. It's, uh, it's as if someone has had something old and they've worked something more modern into it. Dump here. And... Uh, yeah, empty out around the other side. Very nice. Uh, I forgot to show. The house does have a sleep trigger. Which is here. And you do start with a dog. And I'm guessing this one. Oh, it's to fill the bowl. Oh, I thought that was going to be to... Uh, unless that is the sleep trigger. And it's worked in right next to... Not the sleep trigger, but the change your clothes trigger. Yeah. That's me, by the way. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. It is the original house. I just want to come down here and see if this opens. That would be a nice little treat. Oh, one day someone will make this map or do this house and that will open for storage. That would be cool. We have a fuel refill point. Oh, wow, perhaps if that's a, let's, let's have a little look at something. What? Earth root storage. Because here we have our silo. So what goes in the earth root storage? Maybe beets, potatoes, something like that. Very nice. Okay, round to our side we have... I'm going to say chickens. And it can take 360 chickens... Uh, we had chickens here before. And that's uh, pretty much standard. Food there. Purchase there. Egg spawn there. Well, you can hear the static from the radio tower. That's pretty cool. Nice feature. It's a greenhouse here, but I don't think it's working. Doesn't look like a working greenhouse. Never mind. Anyway, back to the farm tour. Shed. This would be our um, hayloft. Dump and refill. Nice and cool. And then here, you have your big silo. Dump there, fill there. It didn't come up, it is empty. And then over here, we have some sort of processing. What have we got? Ah, uh, limestone processing. Yep. So you can get your stones and you can start doing that with them straight away. That is pretty cool. Purchase that. Get them fields clear. And then, way up over yonder, we have, by the looks of it, a version of the British Sheds by Lancy Boy. Hmm. So there's probably a chance that this, <laughs> this map version won't make it to consoles if it ever was to try, uh, because this is clearly a mishmash of other people's buildings, where well, I don't know if this person has permission. Like I say, the only credit that is given is to Dreamsy, so that'll be the credit I put on the thumbnail, and I'll put a link to the map from the link that I've found it. But 
think it looks like this. The it looks better than seventeens. Uh, I think it looks very nice. Now I know that I said a lot of what I want to do on 22 with gameplay wise was to do new maps but I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to uh, look at the uh, older maps that we've had that have been rebuilt and redone. Now for our actual tour I've gone out and found myself something slightly fitting for a Goldcrest Valley tour and I have acquired myself this lovely classic 1972 Ford F100. I'll put a link to this mod down in the description. I'm not a big one for doing trucks. Not with my gameplay anyway. But there are some awesome models out there and I'm uh, quite enjoying trying them out just doing uh, map tours at the minute. So there'll be a link for this one down there and uh, just inside we'll have a little look around. Nicely done. This uh, reminds me of something that I might be uh, driving around in on Snow Runner or something, but this is a this is a cool little truck, and this truck is credited to Mr. Boomnastic and Expendables Modding. Like I say, I'll put a link down for that. Anyway, let's get on with our map tour. Listen to it start. Listen to it. This has a ton of customization, and it's just brilliant. Love it. I, I just never use trucks in my gameplay. I've got nothing against the trucks. People love them. And, you know, they're allowed to, each to their own. Now, if we pan out, just so we can see a little bit of the map as we go along, that is the old familiar. But it is, it is modernised, it is updated. Um, I'm not sure if we've got traffic, or whether there's just not traffic on this road. Oh, no, there's traffic. It's down there. So, like I say, we'll, we'll take a right and we shall head into Goldcrest Valley. Let's get on the correct side of the road. Maple Field, not far away. Oh, listen to it. And we have our first production site here on our left. So we'll pull over a bit. And we have the grain mill. I will jump out. I will have a look. I mean, we must be getting pretty familiar with how these things work. But drop off. Purchase and management for the mill. And flower spawns there. I'm sure there will come a point when I stop getting out and looking at all the ones that are very basic, but for now we'll keep doing it. <laughs> Even if only so we can just keep doing that. <laughs> so then we have <laughs> Look at that ball of yarn. Excellent. Let's get out here. Purchase and management. And then uh, round the back. Let's have a little look. Where is it? I think it's in between. Yep. Yeah. Unload here. Product spawn there. Then on the other side of the road is the bakery where you've got product spawn there. Unload here. And purchase round on the front. Now, not far from here, or around here, used to be where you used to play basketball. It's over there. Used to be an achievement for that. I don't even know if there still is one. But there used to be an achievement for getting a three-pointer. So we'll make our way round. Now, scattered across the map, like there was in previous versions, you've got um, barns and whatnot to keep equipment, or to store bales, or to do whatever it is you wish to do with these things. Ah, oh, it's a shame fries and rice don't take the potatoes. That'd be a perfect sell point. And around 
around here we have gas station we're going to call it a gas station because we are in America usual jobby drive through park up press fill off you go more fields now along here used to be looks like it still is cow barn you've got um, slurry storage over there now this is a, oh, I like that, I like that they've done that that should be an option you know, just in default to be able to change the colour of your sheds because that looks really cool in red it fits the American uh, theme obviously nice big red barn uh, so you have cows with robot uh, feeder a nice little touch it's got a nice big um, silage clamp here so standard robot feeder um, purchase animals here unload milk here needs a little bit of work done in there the grass has grown through it and uh, manual feed and such in there now, I don't see anywhere for manure so if you want manure you'll probably have to uh, place that yourself now this does appear to be a little bit smaller obviously than the one that was here in 17 and 17 it used to come out and stretch along and you'd have a second feeding bit over there but in making that smaller I guess I've been able to put some more trees down and you can always like, use up that land and cut it and mow it if you wish and again over here more storage nice nice little uh, nice little spot I like that fenced in as well sort of keeping it separate from the land so if we uh, turn around go out to our left which should eventually take us to the store we'll go into town through the store just so we can see a bit of the town it is nicely done it's nicely put together it looks really nice it's, it's, it's nice and faithful to the original because I don't know what uh, FS19's version was like or even who did it but this is uh, a fair, a fair update, I'd say. So here at the store, repair point here, purchase over here, and if we go and buy ourselves our wee diddy tractor. And you can see items spawning from this side facing towards the store and they will work their way out and across. Now I was horrific in my gameplay for coming in at the front. <laughs> which was always the exit. Now we shall head down this way and I th I'm trying to think what used to be down here. I want to say pigs. I think pigs used to be this way. I think with this one being sort of my first real, although I had um, FS15, um, I don't didn't really play much of the American map on that one. So this was like my first introduction to what would be an American style map, and I think that's why I don't necessarily take to the newer ones the more realistic ones with the big massive open fields because i i like this as an american one so here we have the um train uh, grain cell point i presume uh, where are we it says supermarket but that my friend is not a supermarket that is definitely a train silo so whether that needs adjusting in some sort of update, 
I don't know. But that's a train silo. I don't know if trains work on here. I'll let you guys find that out if you wish to go and have a little go on this map. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a look and see what is actually selling at that sell point. So, supermarket down here. Although they all say supermarket, so I guess there's uh, some error in naming things. Uh, there's one or two other things I have noticed with the map, so hopefully there'll be an update for this. I think it would definitely need to be updated and, and changed in some respects for it to get further release uh, on more official uh, sites. So round we go. Obviously it can go, go elsewhere with the supermarket, but I think for maybe some of the uh, the placeables and that, whether there's permissions for them and things, that would probably get looked at. And also there is a slight thing with the map where the fields, as in the, pla the, the cultivated area, marked out for a field and the actual placement of the field on the map is slightly off. So here we are at Maplefield Mill. What is that for then? So we've got a cell point here. Maplefield Mill. Anything to do with wood, is it? No. Maplefield Mill. Let's see what is coming up as when we click on it. I bet it says supermarket or oh, farmer's market. There we go. Okay, so that should be beets and things like that. Eggs. Brilliant. Yeah. So there's a few a few early teething problems. Um try to think of today is today is Tuesday the first and uh, this arrived early this morning on um, kingmods.net so it's it's, it's you know there's, there's time for things to be adjusted. It does say version 1. Quite often um, these maps go out on third party sites and they get to version 2, version 3 long before they uh, head off to um, Giants anyway. I just like to get on and have a little look around and sort of show you people, show you guys what's about. Oh. That always throws me when we pull up on something like that and the image is stretched and warped. So we have sawmill, we have uh, timber here, uh, purchase and management for uh, the furniture store or production. Just jump across some of this wood. So there we have the unload and the sale trigger. And productions come out here. Now do these work? they do. You could store yourself a trailer and a forklift or something around here. And then we have the sawmill over here. We've got wood chips. And then we've got the distorted trigger lights that hurt your eyes. Wood sail here. Drop it down. And you got a nice big area to pull your trailer in as well. So that's, that's quite handy. Oh. We've got a fuel refill point. And then I'm taking that this is your purchase and management f for the uh, sawmill. Production sawmill. And again, more storage. Now I think one of the reasons why I tend to shy away from maps that we've already had many times over is because I think me being me and the way that my my practical mind works is that having 
succeeded on this map really well a particular way I would very quickly fall into the same routine of doing exactly the same thing to feel like I've succeeded on the map because I know how I how I am and how I play that's why I like to get the fresh fresh maps but also why certain maps were always favorites coming from 17 to 19 and a lot of them aren't coming to 22 so I'm happy about that because I would have got drawn into them I know I would have gone back to Oakfield I know I would have gone to Marwell or or somewhere like that if they had shown up again So here we have a diner, restaurant cell point, and that is around the back, unload. What we got up here? Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look about. Private property, no trespassing. Authorised personnel only. What is this place? Is this like a... Looks like it should be a dam. Hopefully some sort of power station. Now that is a pretty cool observation post. Yep. Looks nice. Nice view. I'm sure my uh, map in the bottom corner there is uh, ruined in it, but that is a uh, nice view across the map. Got good draw distance. haven't seen any um, collectibles, so uh, I'm thinking collectibles might not be a part of this map. Not yet, anyway. Let's jump back in the Ford. This is a beautiful truck. Oh no, I remember where pigs are now. I remembers. It's all coming back to me. It's been a few years. A lot of it sticks though, and I, I know like as soon as I looked to the map I could remember which fields I brought first and even the equipment that I used and crops that I grew and how I expanded. It's it's nice to have that nostalgia, it's nice to know that you enjoyed something. And that it's still there should you want to revisit it you know, without having to load up seventeen again. I don't have 17 on um, PC. I have it on console. I did have it on PC. I don't know what happened to it. So I had it on disc, and it's uh, it's no longer floating about. So oh, I missed me. Uh, can we? Oh, go on, get up there. Good old truck. So we have fuel. I think that's showing up as double fuel. Let's just have a little look on the map again. Where are we? Oh no, fuel there. Oh yeah, our dairy is up there. So we'll go out and have a look at the dairy. See now, whereas that wasn't a thing back in 17, it was in 19, but again, I did play in 19. In 17, milk just sold direct. In 15 and 17, milk sold direct, I believe. So, your standard dairy that you're all familiar with. Purchase and management there. Unload there. And production spawn there. And again, we've got some sh a shelter here if you want to store some equipment for it. Or you could purchase this up, sell it, and have this bit of land to build whatever you want on. Sky's the limit. Bring it around. And as we go across, it is then pretty much across the way when we should come across pigs. If I'm remembering rightly. Pigs and horses, maybe. Looks like this might be horses put here. More shelter. Yep, horses. I thought they might go here. We didn't have horses back in 17. And uh, unload here. I don't know if horses give you manure if you put a little uh, 
manure thing down where you'd build up manure from horses. They should do, because, you know, you get a lot of muck from horses. Um, my partner used to keep a horse and we used to do a bit of mucking out with her every now and then. So, if we go round on the right, over the train line. I haven't seen the train yet, still. So, over here, the Goldcrest Pacific Grain, we have load and unload. See, now I'm wondering if this does sell to the train then. She's got a load and an unload. Unless that is just a separate silo. No, I just think that is a second silo. And then this grain one is also marked up as supermarket. So if you want to sell on here, you're always going to have to hit tag place so you know which one is the one that's selling at that price. And then again down here, we have, straight out of the mod hub, um, refill points. Uh, what's that? Seed, lime, solid fertilizer, salt, additives, herbicide, liquid fertilizer. All that sort of thing. So then you do have the uh, cell point there. So I'm guessing no train. If that cell point's working in that fashion. Now, how are we? Gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way, right. We head in. This should be our pigs. Because I did a lot of work on the pigs around here. Obviously, very different now. Here we have. What's that we've got on our left? Pig food production. Nice and simple. So pop in whatever it is you need to pop in. Obviously you're going to have to purchase it, manage it over here. Pig food production. Pig, uh, corn pig food, sorghum pig food, potato pig food. Okay. Cool. Haven't used that yet. Uh, unload there. Or, yeah, unload, fill, and then do that. Bit. Something in them words in that order. We then have... Plenty of storage. Then you move your pig feed into here. Purchase your pigs here. Door can open. Lovely job. More storage for vehicles if you so wish. They do seem to have a big old slurry pit path going off that way. Slurry here. But this definitely looks like a big slurry pit. Sort of whether that's connected or whether that's just decoration. But it's got manure. Your manure here. So that's nicely established. So uh, I like that. This was I had fun doing pigs on this map back back in the day. So let's just hoss round. And we'll go check out what I believe to be the uh, biogas. As you see, there are plenty of trees. If you like to do a bit of logging, as well as your farming, there are a ton of trees on this map. I think there's more on this map than there was on the original, by the looks of it. The, uh, the woodland area looks a lot denser than it ever was. Authorised vehicles only. Weighing station. Actually has its numbers on as well. So you do have a biogas, BGA. Ooh. A little bit of uh, grippy graphics there. Now... I'm assuming we need to buy this bit of land for this to work. How much was it? We can buy it. Yep. Now the triggers are up. Now if I get out, do we... Have a look, look, look. 
seems to be all up and running and to be activated so that was built into the purchase of the land we don't have to uh, pay for it separately we've got a uh, new fill there unload your liquids there unload your solids there nice little BJ plant we've got one big clamp over there but there is plenty of room to put down more clamps if you so wish and then over here is the what looks like it says a refinery it looks like gas so uh, how you fill from that I don't know but you empty in whatever this one wants whether it's like a heating refinery should we see what the refinery has Let's have a little look. Uh, refinery. Let's if we go to things like um, where's wood chips, silage, something. That's the refinery thing on it. Oh, Steve. oh, so it must be. Uh, what's that? But then it's got a biodiesel shoot, hasn't it? Hmm. Got buys and diesel. Yeah. I think I'll keep coming in and out. Sorry. Yeah, that is it. So. Some sort of fuel. We don't biodiesel. I guess we're filling up from here and not from the chute. I was looking at the chute and thinking that was weird, but we're filling up from there. That's how that's working. Biofuel. I'm happy with that. That explains that enough for me. <laughs> Nicely done, though. It's it's different. It's not something we've got in every map. And I'm always up for something that's a little bit unique. Okay, we shall take in the, um, what should be, sheep. And was always another train sell point. So I'm guessing that's going to be the third supermarket sell point. Just because I'm a little bit presumptuous like that. So let's say this would have been the train. So you've got your sell point there. So it's a sell point rather than storage point. Pretty simple. Now that we understand it, it's pretty simple. And then we're going to be a bit cheeky. Because this is uh, turned into quite a long little tour. Here we have our sheep. Now one thing that is an improvement is there is, there is more here now. Whereas before you had a nice looking pasture... There was nowhere to really put any buildings down. But now you've got a nice little shed over here for equipment. Got a storage shed here. And then, nice and easy, refining your wool. But just. Oh, it's a storage. Oh, it's wool storage. Even better. Wool spawn in. Store it in there. Excellent. Wall storage. That is brilliant. Purchase. Feed. Wall spawn here. So you take it from here. You put it in your shed. You store it up until you're ready with a good price. It saves clogging up your map. It saves clogging up the space. Absolutely brilliant. That is a nice touch. So we're going to try and quickly, as quickly as we can anyway, get down to field 31 and check out the uh, animal dealer. So I just had to listen to that engine for a bit.
and on the main road. And we can come out while we do this. Have a little look around town. We've got some big fields. If you've not played the map, you've got some big fields on here. That one I always turned into grass and uh, did a lot of silaging off that one. Not really silaging, I quite often used it for the cows. Like I said, I, I played this map a lot. I did every animal, everything on it. More sheds. Back in the days when you used to do a contract by uh, just turning up at a field, hitting the trigger and being given the equipment. Simpler times. We have an animal dealer here. Very nice, nice house. Old style barn. Oh yes, we've got a barn cell point here as well. So it's the barn cell point that shows up. Drop it in there. Excellent. Back yourself in. That's the old barn as well. That was the barn that used to be over at the main farm. You used to just drive through and all your bales would disappear from it. I like that that's still here. It's moved a bit. But it's still incorporated in. Very nice. And then just further down is where you pick up your animals usual job either come to the trigger order them into where you want to go have them delivered or you can uh, order them at the pen have them delivered that doesn't cure costs or you could always come down with a trailer fill up yourself take it back no extra costs but you do have to have the trailer which as I often say in my opinion works out a bit cheaper if you're gonna do a lot of animals now, I mean, coming over here, I realise that we have missed out, I believe a cell point or something, over by field 20. And by 13. How terrible of me. See, I did say I think I'd missed some things. So we're going to do some field cutting. I'll try not to uh, T-bone any traffic. But we'll hoss across here and we'll see what we got. Nursery. Oh wow, so they've built in. We jump out. We have to have some little equipment to get in there if that's all there is. Some greenhouses already built in. Big greenhouse as well. Get some production out of that. Fill up with water. Manage it from here. Might hit the trigger. Do as you please, knock yourself out. Lovely job. So they've added quite a bit here. I'm liking that. They've they've made it... They've given it a, 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 more options for like freedom. By the looks of it as well, all the placeables are owned by you. Sort of pre-purchased. I like that you can use the buttons for these things. Is there a light switch? Does the light switch work? Oh, I'm hitting something else instead. Shut myself in! Oh, the light switch did work. Brilliant. <laughs> Again, a little bit of texture work need doing. I mean, you can do that for yourself on PC. You can do that for free. That's not a problem. And at the minute, this is only PC, so... But yeah, you come in with a... Probably a small tractor or a, a truck with a water fill on the back load up your goods or you just, uh, park up your truck down there your lorry and take your pallets on it but I like that I like that they've added that always happy to see functionality in a map and again plenty of logging up there let's try not to yeet it off the bridge let's see how stable the bridge is we've got a little bit of growth coming through there but something that's not going to be hard to sort out unlike my steering that is a long way off uh, being any any good right so then we want to quickly 
Bomber down at the end of 13. Now, a trick that I always used to do back on 17, I'm sure everyone knows it by now, but they, this sell point uh, used to overhang just enough, so if you had a contract job on this field and you were quick enough at it, you could pull up to it and put your pipe in and you could sell the crops as you were doing the, <laughs> doing the harvest. Not gonna lie, I did that a few times, right. And here we have our pizza parlor, so dropping off. That's all you have, drop off. Well, that's fine, another little uh, spot. I think it was just always a, a grain sell point there. And I believe that is a complete tour of Goldcrest Valley. FS22. Like I say, it's been credited to DreamZ. I'll drop a link in the description. And again, this um, classic Ford F100 um, credited to Mr. Boomnastic and Expen Expendables modding. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tour, enjoyed a little trip down memory lane for those of you that have played here many times. If you have, give the video a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.